Hi everybody, I'm Rob Raybon, and on today's video, we are going to install the Type S Interior LED Lighting Kit. I currently have the exterior LED lighting kit on the vehicle used as underglow. I figured why not get the interior kit also. Currently, the interior is semi-gutted. There's no carpet, there's no back seats. I do have an ASD Hydro handbrake, which I installed on the car. It does have a bolt-in cage, stock seats, and a couple aftermarket gauges. It's pretty simple in there right now. It's just race car slash missile car. This car is by no means a show car, but I do really like the way that the car looks currently. And I just wanted something to make the interior look a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and install this kit. It's really easy, really simple. The kit comes with everything that you're gonna need. We're gonna just plug it right into our cigarette lighter outlet. And you can do this install with pretty much no tools. You might need some tie wraps or something to uh, tie things down. So because my interior is gutted, I'm gonna do a couple different looks and a couple different styles. And then we're gonna decide which one we like better. When I say we, I mean us. If you like a certain mounting location better, then let me know. Maybe I'll change it. So enough of me talking. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'll show you what's up with this. So let's see what we got in the package. This is going to be 48 inches of smart lighting. This is all app controlled. This is more of an interior kit. S-Type also makes exterior kits. It's got a nice little Velcro door on it. So you open it up and you can see what you got. A plug and glow smart lighting hub controller. You got a 12 volt plug that plugs into your cigarette lighter. You also have a 12 volt hardwire connection. And it also comes with two 36 inch and two 72 inch extension cables, which is awesome because that lets you put these lights wherever you want. I really like this packaging. It's got like that hollow graphic look. Always feel bad about ripping open nice packages. So inside we have our controller. This is going to be what all your lights plug into. So it's got four different outputs for each one of your light strips. These just go ahead and plug right in. But because it has the extension cables, basically you want to plug in the extension cables into the hubs and then extend these out to where you want. This is going to be really nice for ambient lighting for inside of vehicles. You can go ahead and turn this on, get a little mood lighting. You know, if you're on a hot date or something, you get your cigarette lighter adapter. Be the easiest way to install this. Basically that just plugs into the side of this module. This module also has a built-in speaker, so this is sound activated. We're gonna go ahead and experiment with that a little bit once we get the install done. Comes with a pretty good assortment of extension cables, so you can put lights under your dash or on your floor or on your roll bar, pretty much wherever you want. We're probably gonna do a few different looks just to experiment with it. It also comes with this 3M sticky pad. This is gonna be for your module, so you can mount this thing under your dash if you want, and you can mount it pretty easy. It also comes with a harness for hardwiring the module. You always wanna have some sort of fuse protecting the device and protecting your car from catching on fire. So if you're hardwiring this, I would take it to your fuse box that's under the dash and just take an add a fuse and mount it that way. But we're gonna go ahead and do the easiest install and just throw it into the cigarette lighter. And then we got our on off switch. And if we want it on, we turn it on. If we want it off, we turn it off. So this looks like a lot and I made a mess of unboxing all this, but we'll make sense of it once we get out to the vehicle and start installing it. And uh, it's gonna look pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about this. So let's get started. Always pack up your knives. As you can see, not much going on. We just got the bolt-in roll cage, a ripped up steering wheel, no carpets, no back seats, and that nice ASD hydro. So the first location that we're gonna do is in the footwell area. This will give us a nice like mood lighting effect if we put it down on the floor. We're gonna mount a strip on each side of the transmission tunnel, and then we're gonna try to tuck one up under the footwell area. For simplicity, we're just gonna use the cigarette lighter attachment. It comes with a factory connector that plugs right into the controller. This is gonna be the type s controller it has a power input on this side and then four outputs on the outputs you can use the extension cables if you want or you can just plug the leds directly into this it's got a power on power off button and also has a built-in speaker if you want to use the sound functions pretty simple design it's nice and lightweight it comes with a piece of 3m adhesive tape if you want to mount this somewhere make sure that you put the arrows on the right side when connecting these or else it could short something out right here there's an arrow on the left hand side just make sure that arrow lines up with the arrow on the female end the same rule applies to the extensions you can see that there's an arrow embedded on that harness so make sure that you line that arrow up with the arrow on the light so each one of the strips has adhesive on the back of it but because we're doing this temporarily we're going to use a little bit of electrical tape just to hold the strip in place just to see how we like it we're gonna leave all the wires loose for now too until we do a final decision on where we're mounting these so the other cool thing about these is that if i do want to do like multiple placements i can get a second set of these And 
then we have the four separate lights ran. We're gonna plug in each one of the harnesses. I said pay attention to these arrows. The arrows are on the left. I'm gonna make sure that the arrow on the harness is lined up with the arrow on the controller. You can also put the harnesses in whatever order you want. These are gonna be considered different zones. So it's gonna be like one, two, three, four. With ours, because this is temporary right now, we're just gonna put it wherever, just to get some lights going. So now we can go ahead and plug in the cigarette lighter adapter. This also has an on off switch so you can turn everything off if you want. Once again, pay attention to your arrows. Seems like arrows to the left is pretty much the consistent thing to do. You can turn the on switch on. I almost forgot that you have to have the ignition turned on for this cigarette lighter to be hot on the skyline. Ooh, make sure you turn that on too. We have lights, and because it's cold in here, my strips already fell on that side. The electrical tape doesn't really stick very well in the cold. Man, that looks cool though. You can also hide the strips underneath of the dash, depending on how your car is set up, if you don't want the strips to actually be exposed or anything. That's a cool color, I really like that. Let's turn some lights off and see what we got going. I really like the look of that being a nice like mood light, but let's try it with all the LEDs on. Underglow, interior, everything. So once again, we're gonna be using the Type S LED app, which works very awesome. The interior is gonna be on the Smart Hub area. You can see that there's four different zones. You can set this up as a master, that way they're all linked. So when everything is linked, you can go ahead and change the color of all the lights when you use it as a master controller. Let's keep it a nice, like, I really like that teal that we started out with. So we'll start out with that color. As the master controller, it just controls all those. Go ahead and click confirm on that. And we go out of that and go to our smart exterior. We'll do the same thing with that. We'll go to about that same teal so everything matches. So for this, we're only gonna use two of the zones. Then we're gonna plug the extension into the controller, into our first light, and then out of that light, we're gonna go to another extension and then to the second light. This should spread out the light a pretty good distance. It'll make it a little bit easier to run. We're gonna start by going up the vertical rails and then coming around and going to our top rails. I had a race car model and I could actually put a race car model in the car that way you could see what a race car driver looks like so I think for now we're gonna leave the install kind of temporary and taped up but if you want to install yours permanently what you do is clean any kind of surface with some alcohol pads or some isopropyl alcohol you can also use denatured alcohol and a couple other different types of cleaners just to clean the surface and then these 3M strips will stick really well. Same rule applies to the 3M adhesive that you use for the controller. Just make sure that the surface is nice and clean and it should stick pretty well and not go anywhere on you. That's a pretty interesting look. So I thought it was dead set on having the lighting underneath for kind of a mood lighting effect, but now I don't know. I actually really like this. I liked that a lot more than I thought I would actually. So the other idea that I had was to light up the rear package tray, but now I don't even know if I'm gonna do that. I might just keep these on the roll cage. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the underglow just to get the entire effect, see what everything looks like at once. I really like that look. That's a really cool look. I actually like that a lot. Pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad, shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. 
shade, that's a no, 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 no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to purchase your own Type S Auto LED lighting kit, you can buy them at AutoZone. I like the interior kit a lot more than I thought I would, so I highly recommend it. So just like every other YouTuber, I'm gonna ask if you could be so kind as to push the like button. It helps with the algorithm and stuff and pushes the video further, I guess. I don't know. Either way, I need more money for car parts and it helps out with ad revenue and stuff. And also, if you liked the video, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of stuff with the Skyline and I have a few Mustangs and a Volvo and a diesel van and a Barrow swap and a bunch of other stuff that I'm working on. Also do some stuff with photography and videography. There's a bunch of videos on light painting and other kind of stuff. Also plastic dip stuff. We got some plastic dip stuff coming up, but yeah, that's it. Hope you have a fantastic day and I guess I'll see you soon. Maybe, possibly, yeah. Yeah, I'm in my car and I get it up. Secure the bike, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up.